Glory to God forevermore. Praise the Lord. This is Apostle Curtis Lewis coming in the name of Jesus Christ. I just want to thank God these next few minutes here on Facebook Live for this great, wonderful, beautiful day called Atonement. Hallelujah. I give God the praise for atoning for uh, the things in our lives. Amen. And I just want to take a few minutes here on Facebook. Amen. And just tell the Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. I want to read Psalms 51. Uh, and I'm going to try to read verse 1 all the way down uh, to the last verse. And then I, maybe I'll read a verse or two out of Psalms 85. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. I thank God for what Jesus did for my soul and did for the world. The Bible said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God is so good and he has offered salvation to all mankind. Glory to God. And I want to start by reading Psalms 51. Uh, most of you know the story of David when David erred and missed God, but he got it right. Amen. And David, the Bible said he didn't sin no more. Glory to God. Amen. And a lot of people talk about David, but they never talk about how David never sinned against God ever again. And that was the only thing that the Bible said he did against him. Glory to God. And so David went on to become a man after God's own heart. I want to say personally, many years ago, uh, God uh, sent his spirit into my life, saved me, filled me with the Holy Ghost, taught me how to live a clean and a holy life. And I'm so grateful for that. I'm still grateful for that. It's going on uh, 40, it's actually, it's over 40 years. And the last several years of my life, he taught me how to live holy. He taught me how to keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. So on this day called atonement, I just want to thank the Lord for atoning for my life that I could get it together. Amen. So Psalms 51, it says, have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgression, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Glory to God. And I know many of you, he did that for you. Amen. And if you're thankful for this uh, day of atonement, you need to give him some praise. Now, you can't be thankful if you're in sin and if you're sinning. Glory to God. Jesus Christ paid an awesome price so that we can live a holy life. And we all should be, in, be enjoying that. Amen. And if we enjoy that, we ought to be thankful for atonement. Glory to God. Let me finish reading verse three. For I acknowledge my transgressions. This is a day if there's anything wrong in your life, you ought to acknowledge it. If there's any situations that, that's not going right between you and another human being, you ought to acknowledge it. You ought to get it right. You ought to uh, make peace. Amen. The Bible says, follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. It says, for I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against thee and thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shaped in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desire truth in the end with pause. Amen. We need the truth. We don't need a lie. We need the truth in our mind, in our heart, in our ears, in our mouth. We need to be speaking it. And amen, we need to walk in it. So it says, Thou behold, thou desire truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Look at verse 9. It says, Hide thy face from my sins. And blot out all my iniquities. Amen. David praying out of his heart. Blot out all my iniquities. And that's what atonement is all about. He blotted them out. He given us another chance. He has given us many, many chances. Amen. And verse 10 said, created me a clean heart. 
O oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. No use in walking around with a dirty heart when Jesus atoned that you could have a clean heart. It says in verse 11, cast me not away from thy presence and take not the Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips and my mouth shall show forth thy praise for thou desire not sacrifice else would I give it. Uh, thou delighted not in burnt offering. God take no pleasure in burnt offering. He take pleasure in your heart being right before him. That's why he atoned for us. Verse 17 says the sacrifice of God are broken and a contrite uh, heart. Amen. A broken and a contrite heart, O oh God, thou will not despise. If you want to really afflict your soul, humble your soul. Get the pride out of your soul. Get selfishness out of your soul. Jesus said, except you deny yourself, take up your cross and follow me, you cannot be my disciple. That is still good today. So let me read that again. The sacrifice of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. Oh God, thou will not despise. God's looking for some people that will walk humble before him. It says, do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice, sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. I want to close in um, uh, Psalms 85. I woke up early this morning praising God on this day of atonement, and I happened to read this whole psalm, but I'm going to just read a couple of verses before I close. Amen. And I hope the reading of the scriptures is a blessing to you. And um, I encourage you to be thankful for this day of atonement. Psalms 85 verse 1 and verse 2. Lord, thou has been favorably, favorable, I'm sorry, unto thy land. Thou has brought back the captivity of Jacob. Thou has forgiven the iniquity of thy people. Thou has covered all their sins. I thank God that he took me out of the streets. I thank God that he saved my soul. I look forward to continuing this race because the Bible said to him that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Saints, let me encourage you. Be thankful for atonement. Jesus did a great work for our soul and your soul should be making her boast in the Lord. This is Apostle Curtis Lewis saying, we love you. We thank God for you. And remember, someone cares for you and his name is Jesus. See you on the next Facebook Live.